Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy Albin. We're back with another video. We're back, 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 back. Let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. Let me stop messing around. But yo, we're back with another video. Let's push this to the side because it's looking a little crazy right now. It's because I don't have the headphones over it. But yeah, um, in this video, we're going to be showcasing the Wizard King build. Y'all probably thinking, what's the Wizard King build, bro? What's the Wizard King bring this time, bro? You be coming up with these builds, bro. I'm currently running it right now, bro. Relax, relax, buddy. Relax, buddy. All right, so the Wizard King build, it has to do with you know. Since you know it's, it's, you know it's broken right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. And they just revamped it, you know what I'm saying? They added fly to it. That's all they did. But hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look. Yo, yo. Boop, boop. Boop. Look at that. Look at that. Boop. You know what I'm saying? Boop, 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 boop. Hey, listen. And then swap over. Don't swing your sword, though. When you use this, do not swing your sword, bro. Because if you swing your sword, bro, it's GG's on, on everything. I'm telling you. If you're going to swing your sword, you got to use it. You do have to use a skill from win first. All right? Use a skill from win first. Look, I'm going to show you why. I just swung my sword, right? Look, I can't swing anymore. Nor I can't use none of my abilities. I can't even charge. That's the only downside to the Wizard King's build, all right? That's the only downside. Now, you're probably wondering, how do you still have 10K health and you're able to use a sword and have decent amount of mana and have... What is what is the stats? What is the stats, IOB? Tell me. Bro, relax, bro. Before we, before we even get to that point, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, bro, because we're almost at 5K. Bro, 100 of y'all subscribe, bro. I literally be 50 subscribers away. And by the time y'all see this video, I'm probably less than that. Probably less than that, bro. Respectfully, of course. Um, but, bro, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. This is a masterpiece of mine. I, I would say I'm very proud of this build. And I think that it could do a lot. But the only downside is you don't want to use M1 whenever you're using the sword. You use M1, bro. Your character is gonna be buffed. I don't know why that's a thing. They gotta they gotta fix that. Hopefully the devs is watching this. Um, I know the devs are watching this actually. Yo, bro, fix this for me, please. Appreciate it and buff um anti damage and change the moves so you know the moves are ranged. Or like if I'm looking down, the moves go down. Or like you know if I'm you know it's easier to aim and stuff. Trust me, guys. I was trying in that in that PVP video, bro. It was just bro. I don't know if because I was using shift lock, I have to remove. Remove shift lock and then aim around, bro. I was literally like, like yeah, it, it just wasn't working for me. Even when I was aiming the swords, bro. I don't know. I don't know. But let's get straight into it, though. Straight into the, the build. So for defense, I have 350 into defense. I have 153 into mana. I have max magics because we want the max damage output for magic and the max damage output for sword. So in order for you to, and then the reason why this is the most broken build in game, right? Think about it like this. With the sword, I get the regen. I get the regen. And plus I'm using a, a, um, a an ability that doesn't even take that much um, mana for me. You know what I'm saying? So it's a win-win situation. And the AOE on the first move, which is wind blast, it's, it's ridiculous. And it has a short cooldown. It just, bro, this whole, this whole entire build is just... Bro, it's, this this build is better than the devil, the devil king's build. Better, ten times better, bro. Ten times better, bro. Now don't go around telling them I told you about this build, bro, and how to use it. There's, there's only one flaw, and honestly, I think the flaw to this build, which is with the weapon, with you can't use your M1, which is not that bad, bro. Just don't use your, just don't use the Imperial Sword M1. You can switch back, you know, obviously between the two. Because once you use that M1, bro, it's GG's. It's GG's. You're losing that fight, bro. You're losing the fight. I feel like that's... It's fair in a way because this build is broken. How broken it is. But, you know, I found a workaround so yeah, I'd be able to use both, you know, the sword and the, the the sword and the magic. So, thank you to me for finding that out. But they're obviously going to probably, you know, you know, probably fix it. I don't know. I think they might... They got a nerf. They got a nerf win, dude. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, anti magic needs a buff. I think it needs like a whole like skill change, or like add the other weapons or something, bro. Like, Cause that, bro, bro, broken, bro. I don't know. 
Wayne is just like too overpowered. I mean, I know Asta don't have his two other swords plus Yami's katana. I know like this, you know, he might end up having all those weapons and you know, then anti magic could you know keep up with one magic, but anti magic right now, kaka, kaka manaka. You know what I'm saying? Kaka manaka for sure. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. And like I like to say, brush your head, take care, peace, eat, cause uh.